In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to recover Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel files that were deleted accidentally. We're going to use recover it from wondershare.net to recover the files. You can access it by going to recoverit.wondershare.net and the link for it is also in the description of this video. This software allows to recover deleted files accidentally. It allows for a recovery of the recycle bin, deleted files, formatted hard drives that were done accidentally, lost partitions in the hard drive, external hard drive or external devices such as flash drives and things of that nature if you deleted files from those, and virus attack recovery or system crashes as well. But in our case, like I mentioned initially, that we are going to demonstrate it for particularly Excel and Word files that were deleted, and then we'll try to recover them. So on the desktop, I have this uh, folder called Work Files, and there is an Excel file here. And by the way, this is linking to an Excel tutorial. Notice it has a whole bunch of worksheets and things of that nature and then a Word document. Now, let's suppose that we deleted those two files. We deleted them accidentally, and then notice they are in the recycle bin. Now, at this point in the recycle bin, we are going to empty it, and then we're going to attempt to recover those files. So at this point, they are deleted and note that the files that we deleted are under the work files folder and notice we have only one file where we had three earlier now to recover those files we're going to use like i mentioned earlier recover it from wondershare once we launch the program you'll notice that uh, it displays the various uh, hard drive partitions that you have in your computer in this case i have three of them it has an option here for external devices that will be flash drives and such and then also recovery from the recycle bin the desktop or a specific selected folder now in my case i'm going to simply look for files that were deleted from the desktop so i'm going to click here on desktop and then i'm going to simply click on start if I wanted to choose here, select a folder, I could have selected a specific folder as well. And that is a nice option to utilize as well. So if I go here under select a folder, go under desktop and then click OK. And then just let the system do the scanning. Notice there is this bar here that is scrolling along at the time dependent on how many files and how large your hard drive is because it has to go and scan a variety of sectors in there now notice you it's uh, using the file path showing us where those files were located or we can do here recovery also the viewing by file type as well now as this is still scanning here notice if we go by file type we can go under uh, scan by document and then also list the files by specific file extensions here so if it's a word document you can do dot uh, doc or docx this will be the office 2 2007 2010 2016 and such if we do by file path notice we can navigate here we go under users user one and then under desktop and then under work files and notice so far it has displayed a couple of the files that we had earlier. We could either preview those files or we could simply put check marks in here and choose to recover them. And now it says select the path to where to save those files. And I'm going to put them on the desktop and then under work files again and then press recover. Now one thing of caution here just like you saw there would be that it's best to recover to recover those files on an external flash drive or some kind of external device because what happens is that when you recover those files it can override any other deleted files files that uh, you are planning to undelete at some point or to recover at some point so it's best now in my case i recovered them here However, suggest that you use an external device for the actual recovery location. 
Now notice here we are going to go back to our files where we recovered them. So notice we went under work files and I notice it uh, gives us the folder where we recovered them from. So it gives us the recover it and today's date when we recovered them. Then it's going to give us the partition, the location, the user files, desktop and then work files. Notice there are two of them in here. And now that the files have been restored, we can simply double click on them to verify them. And notice they look like the original ones. And then you'll need to move them into the location where you need them. So I'm going to simply cut them out and then move them under the work files where they were initially. So that's how you recover files using recover it from wondershare.net and hopefully this was helpful and hopefully your files come back to life. If you want to check it out, uh, please go to under recover it dot wondershare.net and also under the link in the video description. Thank you for watching and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.